Hello and welcome to this film which is about equilibrium systems and their responses to pressure changes. Um, it's the second of the practical films in this series and as such it doesn't really go into the principles involved too much here. So it doesn't attempt to explain too much about what's going on. It really just shows you an experiment that can be done to show how a system that is at equilibrium will respond when the pressure of that system is changed. Okay, so let's just introduce the system to you. And this equilibrium is between this brown gas over here on the left, the nitrogen dioxide, and a colorless gas on the right, dinitrogen tetroxide. So we've got brown on the left, colorless on the right. Okay, and in this syringe you can see that there's some brown gas, and there's actually a mixture of the two gases. It's a mixture of the brown and the colourless, but they mix together to make a, a brown gas. Okay, and what this film is going to show us is what's happening to the colour of this gas when we compress this syringe, so in other words we make the volume smaller, and when we decompress it by making the volume larger. Okay, so I'll let, just let this film, film run for a short while so that we can see these changes happening. Okay, just want you to be aware of the fact or to look out for the fact that there is a sudden change caused by the pressure change or the volume change and then there's a kind of a gradual response. Okay, so we need to just try and differentiate those two from one another. Okay, because one of them is the system responding to the change Okay, so there's been an imposed change and the system's responding to it. The other one is just literally what the change is. Okay, so we need to be a little bit careful about interpreting the results of this later on. Okay, so um, here we go. Let's just watch some of these changes happening. Okay, we're taking this syringe with a mixture of the two gases. First thing we're going to do is going to squash it and watch the color if you can. So just introducing again the system. So here it is the brown and the colorless. Okay, so we've got the brown left hand side, colorless right hand side. Okay, did you hopefully you saw that that the color there when we compressed it gets darker and then lighter. Okay, first of all it gets darker very quickly and then it gradually gets lighter and then when we decompress it it gets lighter very quickly and then gradually darker. Is another compression coming up. Okay. Suddenly darker and then gradually lighter. And then a decompression, suddenly lighter and then gradually darker. Okay. Now, bear in mind, okay, we've got this brown gas over here. And this colorless gas over here. Right? And that we seem to turn lighter when we compressed it. Okay, now that might sound slightly odd because it looked like it got darker first, okay? But if you think about it, if you have got some brown gas in a container and you suddenly make the container much smaller, if the amounts of gas don't change, then the brown gas will seem browner because it's squashed into a smaller space. So that was that sudden change to brown. Let's just see if we can rewind that a little bit, okay? And just show you that again. That was the sudden change that we saw at the start of the film. Okay? The gas getting suddenly darker but then gradually lighter. Okay, so here's the oops, here's the introduction again in fact. So let's just fast forward a little. Okay. And there we go. Suddenly darker, gradually lighter. Suddenly lighter, gradually getting darker. Okay? So when we squash the gas, the first thing that happens is the color seems to get darker because the gas has simply been, its concentration has been increased. Then it has a chance to respond. So then the system responds to that change in conditions. Okay? And as we've just seen, we compress it, it gets suddenly darker, and then the response is to get lighter. So it's going over to this side. This is the colorless side. So when we increase the pressure, so we've increased the pressure, we're favoring this forward reaction. It seems to be responding by going to the right. When we drop the pressure, so that's when we decompress the tube, we pull the plunger out. It gets suddenly lighter, because remember, there's the same amount of gas, but suddenly in a bigger container, so its color's going to seem less intense. 
Okay, but then the response comes along. So this gradual getting gradually darker. So if it's getting darker, it must be going over to the brown side. Okay, now you might look at this equation and notice that there's a different number of moles of gas on the two sides. And you might be able to think about Le Chatelier's principle and what the system is going to try and do in response to an increase in pressure and how going to one side or the other might cause the pressure to change. Okay, the next film is actually going to go into the principles of this, okay, in a bit more depth. Okay, but it's going to talk about it in general terms, it's not going to refer to this equation. So, my advice would be to go on to the pressure changes principles film before coming back to this film and perhaps seeing if you can make sense of what's going on here, bearing in mind what you've learned in the next film. But as I say, the next film to watch is pressure principles so that you can get an idea of why systems are responding in the way they do to pressure changes.